Pixmaker is advertised as a 3D printer for geeks. So let's see what's different than other printers. On the top of the box you can find quick guide and calibration guard. Also some tools, cutting pliers and USB fast drive are included. You can find one roll of filament under the printer. Setting up this printer is very easy. You need to remove packing materials and the only thing you need to install is the filament holder. Xmaker has 3.5 inch touchscreen which is easy to use. This printer supports wireless smart printing or printing from USB flash drive. Filament load and unload can be done manually or with auto mode. With auto mode filament will preheat it up to 230 degrees and extrude it 480 mm. Auto mode is easy to use but takes more time than pushing the filament by yourself. In the settings menu you can change different settings like hot end and hot bed preheat temp, level the bed and change the height, move different axes and release the stepper motors, choose between English and Chinese. Also you can turn off external or internal lights and there is even an option for child lock. Print it there for kids and you can lock it from them. I haven't uh, seen child lock for printer before, it's even stranger to have on kids 3D printer. Option for turning on off power loss recovery, filament detection and notification sound. Before I start printing, I measured the pe measured bed to see if there are some temp differences. Temp was set to 45 degrees and measurements were also around there. Only on the front of the bed, temps were a little lower. On the USB flash drive are many pre slash models to print. If you choose file from USB, it will be copied to the printer memory. When you can see per view of the model and start printing. You can also delete copied files from the printer's memory. During the printing, you can change temps and turn off the lights. Also see height can be changed, but you can't change speed. One time I wanted to change the height, I got error and printing stopped without the option to continue. Xmaker is completely enclosed printer and it makes less noise than many other printers. I also measured power consumption during the printing and it was around 60W mostly and peaks up to 150W. It's quite low. I also tested filament detection by cutting the filament. After some time filament sensor detected filament run out and printer stopped. After I reloaded the filament it continued printing. Xmaker also has resume printing option when power goes out. After printer heated up it resumed printing. The place where you can see the string of filament is the place resume printing happened when filament ran out. You almost can't notice where resume happened, but with the power failure it's not that good. The crack layer line and blob is seen. Xmaker comes with the gamification app where you can find many models to print and you can also design models yourself. Here you can find different model makers which are very easy to use. You can make different binder toys, make different widget spinners, cool whistles, Articulated toys, toy cars and trucks, spinning tops, and you can send models directly to Slicer and then to the printer. It's very easy. There are two modeling software for kids. This cube is the same that I used the test resume printing. All models can be sent directly to your printer. Second one is for making sculptures. Xmaker app is also available for Android it, and it can be also used to slice models and print them. The print quality is not bad at all. The Polonu car from the USB flash drive came out good, only the rough mirror moving was not easy. It's the spinning top I designed in the Xmaker app. Spinning's great and it was super easy to make and it took little time. Xmaker handles ABS very nicely, full enclosure, holds consistent temp, no cracks are between layer lines and also no warping issues. I printed it without raft or brim and it sticked very well. I don't know why every preslate model on the USB has rafts. Rafts were very difficult to remove. I usually print test cubes with PTG and TPU also, but this time I didn't. In the manual it says only PLA and ABS supported filaments. It prints ABS great, so PTG should be fine also, but proton extruders are not the best for TPU. Overall, good quality, but the rat is too difficult to remove. It can only remove with knife, but it's not very safe to do. It should be easier, especially when it kids use this printer. Rough settings could be changed, but X-Print Slicer don't have option for that. After some time I managed to remove the rough, but I damaged the bottom layer. Is the waste from the USB. I thought it will be printed with waste mode, but it's not. On the top some under extrusion happened. This waste is printed with waste mode and it came out great. 
This little sand also has some places where under extrusion happened, but overall layer lines were very consistent. Key holder was the first print I printed without raft and it didn't came out good. I needed to change the height to get a better first layer. I tried to print 3D Benji with silk PLA, but clogging happened. I tried again, but same happened. I changed the filament and tried again. Printed fine, but when I removed it from the bed, the first layer left behind. First layer sticked well, but second and third didn't melt together. I lowered the C height and changed layer height 0.3 to 0.2 mm. There was also filament holder model from USB. Spaceship overall good, but some under extrusion also. There were some more problems and things I don't like. Let's start with the side panel. One magnet was came off and I heard the same problem from other users too. Filament spool holder is a little bit too narrow, some of either spools don't fit. Filament holder is placed so that the extruder pulls it to the side. Maybe that's why pre slice spool holder model was on the USB flash drive. Bowden tube came off the extruder. Hot end cable rubs against the bowden tube. Cable can be damaged after long use. This printer is advertised as leveling free, but I needed to level it before I got the good prints. Hot end wobbles too much, it can cause problems. Protective film left glue on the top and side clear panels and it was not easy to clean. Thankfully, front door stay clean. There are also things I like about this printer. I like the compact design and is fully enclosed. Setup is easy and also easy to use. I like the XMaker app that gives keys different ways to make models and print them. It makes less noise than most of the 3D printers. Overall, it's not a bad printer. If you asked what makes it 3D printer for kids, I will say that XMaker app and ease of use. More info about this printer in the description. More 3D printer reviews are coming soon. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I will try to answer. Thanks for watching.